Hi everybody, I hope you had an awesome spring break. It is fantastic to be with you again. Um, we are just gonna jump right into it. It is awesome to be with you. Let's do it. Great, fantastic. Here we go. Now, let's warm up. Uh, pull your shoulders forward, roll them back. Wiggle your fingers and your wrists. Reach up with your right hand. Reach up with your left hand. Reach down and touch your toes. And then slowly stand up. Up and put down a couple of times. Uh, feel a loose jaw. You can even go. Deep breath in. Press your hands together as hard as you can. And then feel them lightly go to your sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One two three four five. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. One two three. One two three. One two three. One two three. One two one two one two one two one 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 zero. Please take a seat. Before we begin Zumba rhythm to warm up our bodies and our brains at the same time, we are going to add two new rhythmic units that we did not use last time during this activity. Now, it's gonna be review for some of us. For others of us though, it will be brand new. So listen up, this is how these two rhythmic units work. They are both based off of Tiki Tiki. Now Tiki Tiki has four notes that we have to fit inside of a single beat, which is why if this is our beat, we have to say, Tiki 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 one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four. Now, the first version of this that we're going to use is a little bit different because instead of having four sixteenth notes, we're going to have two sixteenth notes and then one eighth note like this. It's two sixteenth notes. Excuse me, I messed up my beam. There we go. Now it looks correct two sixteenth notes followed by an eighth note like this cinnamon 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 the reason why we say cinnamon is because that's actually the rhythm that we're going to use for this group of notes because the first two syllables go quick and then the third finishes off and is a little bit longer so if we say the word cinnamon 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 it's actually the exact rhythm that we see written up here pretty cool now we're gonna have another random word for the second rhythmic unit we can use. And just like before, it is based off of Tiki Tiki. However, instead of having two 16th notes at the front and then one eighth note at the back, we are going to reverse it. So instead of cinnamon, we're gonna make this next rhythmic unit with the word grasshopper. Now, some of you already realize that grasshopper 
has three syllables. The first one is a little longer, and the second two, uh, the second and the third are quicker. So that means we need our rhythm to have one eighth note at the front, which is a little bit longer, followed by two sixteenth notes like this. So we have grasshopper. If we put four of them in a row, it sounds like this. Grasshopper, 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 grasshopper. With that, we are going to turn our attention to Zumba rhythm. And if you don't get cinnamon and grasshopper, you're going to get it very shortly through our activity. So just like last time, we can hear our beat. Here's our steady beat. And our rhythm comes up in one, two, three, four. Tiki, tiki, ta. Tiki, tiki, ta. Tiki tiki ti ti ta ti ti tiki tiki ti ti ta grasshopper ta grasshopper ta grasshopper ta grasshopper ta cinnamon cinnamon tiki tiki grasshopper and as always we're gonna speed it up just a little bit good luck everybody one two ready go tiki tiki ta Tiki tiki ta. T t tiki tiki t t ta. Grasshopper ta. Grasshopper ta. Cinnamon cinnamon. Tiki tiki grasshopper. Tiki tiki grasshopper. Awesome job. Okay, two more times through. This time I'm gonna clap because it might get too fast. Two. Ready, go. Tiki tiki ta, tiki tiki ta. T t tiki tiki ti ti ta. Grasshopper ta, grasshopper ta. Cinnamon, cinnamon, tiki tiki grasshopper. Okay, good luck to all of us. I don't know if I'm gonna do this right, but let's do our best. One, two, ready, and tiki tiki ta. Tiki tiki ta. T T tiki tiki ti ti ta. Grasshopper ta. Grasshopper ta. Cinnamon cinnamon tiki tiki grasshopper. If you got through it, congratulations, you're a hero. Let's move on to our next activity. For our first activity, we are going to be doing something new called Rhythm Wars. And this activity is divided up into different episodes. Now, um, each grade level is going to be doing their own episode this lesson um, based on the things that they know about rhythm already. As a demonstration though, so you all understand exactly how this activity works, I'm going to give a demonstration with episode number one. So with that, Let's go to the screen. As you can see, we are playing Rhythm Wars. Rhythms will fly up through the screen like that. And then our job is to copy them. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. So we heard four clicks to count us off. And then we read. Ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta. T T T T T T ta. So we are going to continue, but each grade is going to get two videos that match their expertise level at this time, and will also probably challenge you just a little bit. So get started.
For our second activity, we are going to continue the conversation that some of our grade levels started last week. Um, and we were talking about note names on the staff and everybody's gonna be doing an activity regarding note names. So as a quick review, what everybody should be familiar with is written on this whiteboard. We have our five line music staff. We have our treble clef over here, which means that now if we see a note that looks like this, um, it's C, and then we climb all the way up and this top one right here above the staff, it's not actually on it. You'll notice that it doesn't sit on that top line. The top line would be F because we have our acronym E, G, B, D, F. Every good boy does fine. Elephants go bouncing down freeways, so on and so forth. So here are all the different notes that you might have today. And if you're one of the older grades, you might have um, sharps or flats added. As a quick review, here's what a flat looks like. Boom. And here's what a sharp looks like. It's not a hashtag. Great. Flats make notes go down, sharps make notes go up. To get, um, if you need a review of what sharps and flats um, are, and how they work. My fourth and fifth graders, you can um, press this link right here um, and it will link you to a video um, that was a good review for sharps and flats and how it works both on the staff and then also on something that looks like a piano. So now that we have reviewed the notes on our staff, our treble clef, um, sharps, flats, other things like that, this is the activity we are gonna be due. So let's turn once again to the screen. So this is the um, website that the link that you press later will take you to. And this is what I want you to do. Um, first and second graders, this is an explanation video for you guys. So here are the settings that I want you to pick. If you go over here and press this button, it's on the correct clef. We want to be practicing treble clef. And the treble range is actually perfect. We should have C at the bottom and G at the top. If it looks something like this or the notes don't exactly match what I had previously, make sure you move it down to C and then make sure the top note is G. Everything else should be correct. Um, if you do want some help as you practice, then you can click on helpers. And when we go back, now we can see the names of each of the lines and the spaces on our staff. So spaces, F-A-C-E, and then lines, E-G-B-D-F. Now, the whole point of this game and this website uh, is that you're just gonna practice identifying notes. Um, so whatever note it gives you, you have to click on the correct one. Here we have an A, and you can use your helper, but my goal for you is to be able to get really fast with this. So it should be A. If it flashes green, then it's correct. And it, um, the very top of the screen is actually going to keep a tally of um, right answers and wrong answers. And when we start off at the beginning, when we're just practicing, you can keep going as long as you want and it's gonna keep track of all of your correct or incorrect guesses. Now, once you put in some practice and feel really, really good with what you can do, this is what I'd like you to try. You're gonna turn on challenge mode. First graders, I want you to set the time limit to five. Second graders, you can set it to three. Question limit will be 25. And when we go back now, it's gonna say start challenge, okay? Your existing score will be reset. So we are starting from uh, with basically a blank page and um, our job is to do as well as we can at answering these 25 questions and identifying the 25 notes that they give us. Here's the trick. You do not um, have to do this only one time. Your job is to get the highest score that you, you possibly can by trying it as many times as you want throughout the week and then to send a screenshot to your um, teacher to show, you what's, show them what score you got on this challenge. So here's an example. I'm just gonna do mine really fast. So 
So I finished my test. What you can do is you can screenshot it, and on your iPad or a phone, it's probably easier, but this is just an example of me doing it on my computer. I've screenshotted it, and then I can share it, open it somewhere, share it with my teacher, and their teachers will be expecting a result by the end of the week, okay? Um, so, hope you guys enjoy this activity, and you can get set practicing if you press reset scores then you can try the challenge again or you can just turn challenge mode off to practice however much you want okay now that you guys have watched a demonstration of exactly what i expect now you can press this link right here and it will take you to the website that i was using um now make sure that you change all the settings to exactly what i told you to do for your grade level okay so then that way, the scores that read out at the top are exactly accurate and match exactly what I wanted you to do. With that, have fun. Thank you everybody for participating in our second online music lesson. I miss you all so, so, so much. I wish we could be together, um, but this is really great. And I really enjoy you guys tuning in. Um, just like last time, if you have any comments, please leave them below, and that's a great way for us to be able to stay in touch. Um, I've also added a link below in the description of the video, and this is just a great website to investigate and learn some other random music stuff. So um, if you're ever finding yourself a little bit bored and you don't know what to do next, um, or you just have some time on your hands, feel free to go explore that website. Uh, just click on the link below and it'll take you right there. Anyway, I hope you all have a fantastic week um, and you guys stay busy, you stay healthy, you stay smart, you stay focused and all of the good stuff that we can try and do during this time. Um, miss you all dearly. Take care.